we are going to look at the implementation of causal reliable broadcast and we will do this by looking to two algorithms so one will be called no waiting algorithm and the other is a waiting algorithm so we look first to the no waiting algorithm which means that the algorithm will not wait to ensure causal order delivery of message whereas the other one means whenever a message is delivered by the underlying system the reliable say broadcast then it might wait for other messages to arrive be before delivering the last message so here is the main idea each broadcasted message carries a history and before delivery we try to ensure causality and we do it by making sure that the history includes all causally preceding messages so the history is basically a set of all causally preceding messages so the algorithm is in the fail silent model and it does not wait and that's why it's called no waiting broadcast so each message m carries an order list so it's a sorted list of causally preceding messages in a variable we call it past so past is a list sent together with a message m including an ordered list of all causally preceding messages and whenever a node reliably delivers m so we are in reliably delivers m before it causally delivers m it causally delivers all preceding messages in this associated list past if it it's not delivered before and then it delivers the message m and of course it uses this uh, variable called delivered to guarantee that no duplicates are delivered so let us look to an execution scenario so here we have p1 which did a causal broadcast it carries with it in the message a list including all causally preceding messages which is empty okay here p1 causally delivers the message m and because the past is empty so nothing else has been delivered here is it delivers the message m1 at p2 and there is no messages that should be delivered before that and now p1 causally broadcasts another message called m2 this m2 carries with it its all preceding messages or causally preceding messages which so carries with it m1 it's m2 is causally delivered here and here and because p2 has already delivered uh, m1 then this message m2 will be immediately delivered whereas if we look at p3 when p3 reliably delivers m2 it checks the associated list that's called past and it first delivers m1 because and then delivers m2 because it did not deliver m1 before so this is we call this um a direct override where two messages coming from the same process in this case p1 they arrive in different order and and in different causal order because uh, the causal order is follows the FIFO order from each process and because of the history is carried with the second message we can early deliver first the first message and then the second message. here is what we call an indirect uh, override just to make it quickly p1 causally broadcast m1 and then p2 later causally broadcast m2 but m2 arrives here before m1 that's the point and here this rb deliver happens of m2 the message has a list associated with it so we could deliver m1 which is actually coming from p1 indirectly uh, and then we deliver m2 and whenever when m1 arrives here it is just ignored very good so let us look now to the implementation so this is um, a reliable causal order broadcast therefore it uses the reliable broadcast rp abstraction and we initialize two local variables the delivery set it's called delivered and an ordered list which is initially null empty so whenever a broadcast request is initiated we trigger a broadcast an rb broadcast a reliable broadcast of the message m and we carry with it the past the past at this stage is an empty list initially but later of course it could be filled with other messages 
And then we append the message M to the local variable post. Is post is a list. Add process PI of all causally preceding messages. So now when we RB deliver a message, the message is carrying with it the past. And this past variable has all causally preceding messages. And it is ordered so that the first message in past is the first message in the causal order, the second is the second in the causal order, and so on. So for all messages in the past, we check each message. If a message is not delivered, we deliver the message and observe we are delivering the message in the causal order. We deliver preceding messages first. We append the messages to the local past variable of this node that is passed here. And once we finish this delivery of all messages that has been missed in the past component of the message, we now causally deliver our message M. Of course, we add it to the delivery list and also we append it to uh, the past variable local to this process. So this gives us now, at this process, its past variable has a list of all causally preceding messages and ending with M. So if this property was satisfied initially before this delivery, then it is satisfied after the execution of this event. So it's an invariant. It's always the past at any process has all the causally preceding messages in the right order. So if we look now to the correctness of the algorithm, so RB1 to RB4 follows from reliable broadcast properties, no creation and no duplication, still satisfied of course, because of, especially no duplication because of the deliver variable. Validity is still satisfied, it's just some messages might be delivered earlier, but never later. An agreement, which says if a correct process deliver a message, all correct processes will deliver the message. This happens, and it might actually happen earlier than later. Let's now look to the correctness of the causal property. Each message carries its causal past. Each delivery of a message makes sure that its causal past is delivered before M. That is for sure. And we have shown that once messages are delivery, the local variable corresponding to a past carries all the preceding messages before the last message in the right order. So the next time there's a broadcast, that message will, will carry with it all preceding messages. And the causal order is satisfied formally by doing induction on initial segments of execution. And I can just show this here. Initially, the first message carries nothing and past is the, so the past is empty and that part, and that message will be delivered. So that is deliver causal deliver of a message M, which is broadcast here. Causal broadcast. Now, if we take a prefix of the execution and we assume that all messages are causally delivered in the right order, it means that the past variable at each process has all causally related messages until now in the right order. Past contains all causally preceding messages. So whenever a message, an event, which is an RB of a message M happens with a past variable, the past variable now 
by the induction assumption carries all causally preceding messages to M and as we have seen from what's going to happen there is that any message that is not delivered in the past at the receiving process will be delivered first followed by M and that will guarantee causality. Now let us try to improve the algorithm as you can see our problem with this algorithm is that every message carries a history of all messages that has been sent which is completely impractical. So one can say that the disadvantage of this algorithm is that message size grows during the execution because of carrying all the paths. So the bit complexity is high depending on the number of broadcasts that happen in the system which is basically not practical. So one possible solution is to try to garbage collect all messages. So the idea is that you don't need to carry all messages in the past with you when you send a message, when you broadcast a message. If you know that messages in the past has already been delivered by other processes. So and the way to do it is to acknowledge a receipt of every message M to all processes. So whenever you get a message, you tell all other processes, I got that message. And then use a perfect failure detector. And then determine with the perfect failure detector when all correct nodes got a message. If you got a message, you can delete this message from past when all correct nodes got that message and therefore the past will shrink as soon as message is, is received by all processes. So this is the idea of the algorithm. The problem with this is of course it's not practical. It uses a perfect value detector. So one way so we use a perfect failure detector. This is not a very good idea. So it is possible to, imp to still more or less keep the same algorithm, but instead of using n just normal reliable broadcast, we use a FIFO reliable broadcast. A FIFO reliable broadcast guarantees that messages broadcast from the same source will arrive in the order of being broadcast to all other processes. Given that when you receive messages, say from process P1, you receive them in the order that they were broadcast, it is possible to trim the past variable. And I will let you think how exactly these algorithms work. Now we are going to move to an algorithm that really does not use any history. And that is the next unit. Thank you.